Another important question is what happened at the beginning of the universe? What happened before the Big Bang? And by the way, on that, I should say, you know, there are some conjectures. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all, in principle, if we figure it out, if we have a theory of quantum gravity, it's possible to imagine that we will figure out how to create a universe in the laboratory. Mm -hmm. By irritating the vacuum, you might create a baby universe. Mm -hmm. And if we do that, it will offer a solution to what happened before the Big Bang. Perhaps the Big Bang emerged from the laboratory of another civilization. So it's like <laughs> a baby universes are being born yeah. out of laboratories and inside the baby universe, you have a civilization that brings to existence a new baby universe. So yeah. just like humans, right? We yes. have babies and they make babies. Yeah. So in principle, that would solve the problem of why there was a big bang and also what happened before the big bang. Yes. So we came, our umbilical cord is connected to a laboratory of a civilization that produced our universe once it figured out quantum gravity, you know. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's baby Big Bangs all the way down. It's, it's, yes. just big, it's just Big Bangs all the way down. So if we collect data about how the universe started, we could potentially test theories of, or it can educate us about how to unify quantum mechanics and gravity. If we, if we get any information about what happens near the singularity of a black hole, you know, if we, yes. if we get a, a sense of, you know, somehow we, we learn what happens at the same, that would educate. So there are places where we can search for evidence, but uh, it's very challenging, I should say. And my point is, you know, the string theorists, they decided that they know how to approach the problem, but mm -hmm. they don't have a single theory. Uh, th there is a multitude of theories and it's not tightly constrained and they cannot make predictions about black holes or about the beginning of the universe. So, so at the moment I say we are at a loss. And I, the, the way I feel about this concept of the theory of everything, we should wait until we get enough evidence uh, to guide us. And until then, you know, there are many important problems that we can address, you know? Why, why bang our head against the wall on a problem for which we have no guidance? Right, we don't have a dan good dance partner in terms of evidence. There's not, exactly. I mean, it'd be interesting, just like you said, I mean, the lab is one place to create uh, universes or black holes, but it'd be fascinating if there's indeed a black hole in our solar system that you can interact with. So the problem with the origin of the universe is all you can do is collect data about it, right? right. You can't interact with it. Well, you can, for example, detect gravitational waves that uh, emerged from that and, you know, there is an effort to do that and that could potentially tell us something. But um, yeah, uh, it's a challenge and that's why we're stuck. So I should say, despite what physicists portray that, uh, you know, we live through an ex exceptional growth in our understanding of the universe, we're actually pretty much stuck, I would say, because we don't know the nature of the dark matter, most of the matter in the universe. We don't know what it is uh, and we don't know how the universe started we don't know what happens in this in the interior of a black hole. 